Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Montenegro is back, aka Hermitcraft History, and today, where are we? <laughs> Taking a guess is we are in Old Hermiton in Hermitcraft Season 2. That is right, today we're going to be taking a look at Old Hermiton, going through it again, reminiscing on some of the old builds and the old hermits that participated in this season. Now, I'm assuming lots of you watching never watched Season 2. I myself only started watching Hermitcraft during the latter part of Season 2, so some of this stuff is unfamiliar with to me. So excuse me if I do get some things wrong, um, my apologies of course, um, but today we're going to be taking a look at it and um, basically seeing who did what. Now, Hermitcraft was split into kind of two parts. Season 2 was split into two parts. There was the 1.6 village, which was this, Old Hermiton, and there was the 1.7 village, which was New Hermiton. And in Old Hermiton, there were lots of like older hermits um, from Season 1, and by the time New Hermiton rolled around, lots of those hermits had moved on and they'd got new hermits, such as like False and Jevin and XB and TFC, and people that we know today. Now, let's start with this. This is the spawn room, so if you do happen to download this world, this is where you will start. And there's also the portal in there to the nether. Slightly bugged because I've got this in the 1.16 snapshots. <laughs> Um, but yes, if you do want to download this world and explore it for yourself, the links are on the Hermitcraft website, which I will leave a link in the description to. So go ahead and check that out. So, let's have a little look-see. Also, oh, one more thing before we start. Um, if you do like what you see, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel to make sure uh, you stay tuned for more uploads like this. And um, I'll also leave a, a link I should have a link in the description, a list of all the Hermitcraft members that were active during this time so you don't end up saying, where's Green, where's Mumbo, uh, I should know Mumbo was in the season, never mind, <laughs> where's like Green and his and stuff, because he hadn't joined yet. Um, so I'll leave a list of all the members that were active during this time. So, this is um, firstly a little monument for the Ministry of Truth, um, I'm pretty sure this was Joe Hills, and I think he brought that back in season 6. Um, so let's start over here. This was one of the first builds that was built in New Hermiton, Old Hermiton even, and this was built by Venom Kisser. Now Venom Kisser is an interesting one because she was one of the few content creators that did the majority of her Hermitcraft series on Twitch. She streamed it and as a result most of her Hermitcraft series is lost with time, which is a real shame. She did have a YouTube channel but uh, she and a couple others at this point prioritised streaming over YouTube. Um, but yeah, so she made the animal paint. Right next door is Jassassin's place. He historically hadn't been very active on Hermitcraft. Did a lot on season one, and then season two did like five episodes. So he's he's got some stuff here, um, but he never really built anything. But this was Jassassin's plot. Moving on over here, this is a very nice looking build, and this is one of the few builds that I think actually holds up quite well today. Any guesses who built this? It was none of the, the looky looky at my house, Corrales, that built this. Um, so yeah, this is Corrales. And you know one thing I miss about Corrales? He never says bushes anymore. Like, he always used to say bushes. That was his catchphrase. Those are bushes. Those are no leaves, they're bushes. Um, <laughs> and I miss him saying that. I hope he brings back bushes very soon. But, um, beautiful house. Um, never would have thought of using quartz blocks like that, but it does work quite well. Um, so they, yeah, that is Corrales' house. He also has a beautiful stable over here where he had his horse, Darth Vader. Um, yes, uh, Topmas killed that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it was an accident because people didn't know that lead stack fall damage and stuff, and it wasn't Topmas' fault, but he felt very bad afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's quite cool. We'll move down this way. I'm not entirely sure what this build is. It does kind of look like another Corrales build. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. And I think I'm about to blow it up. Oh dear. I'm actually lying in this world because we're in the snapshots, but also because there's so much built in. We'll move over here. This is the Temple of Spoon, and you may be thinking, is this Mumbo build? No, it is not. This is an I Am Spoon build. Um, before Mumbo Jumbo, I Am Spoon was the real Spoon, and um, he built a temple dedicated to the Spoon. Sorry, I've just lagged a little bit there. Um, yeah, 
So this is Iron Speed's temple. You see, it's got soul sand underneath, so you have to walk up slowly to the altar. Um, quite cool. Um, but I'm Spoon, a very cool hermit. Um, unfortunately, um, his content, if you do go ahead and watch it, isn't entirely PG family friendly, so just be warned if you do go watch it, but I would definitely check him out. Over here we have Mr. Shishwami Void XI Zuma Azuma's house. <laughs> it's an Adobe style house here. He's got a lovely um storage room down here. And he's also got a ravine somewhere down here. I can't remember where. I think it's further down that he entirely slabbed over. Because reasons. <laughs> um so yeah, this is Zuma's place. Very nice. Um let's move over here. I think down here. Okay, we'll go over here now. Um, who's is this? Curious. This is oh, there's another Azua. Uh, is is vacation home? Because over the street is definitely a vacation. This is a lovely build actually. Some of these builds, admittedly, don't look very good anymore. They look good in 2014, and you gotta remember, actually 2013, most of these were built. You gotta remember that it's been seven years since these were built, so don't judge the buildings because. At the time, these were really good. Um, over here, I believe this is another Venom Kisser build. Uh, this was her house, her main house for the thing. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, Venom Kisser. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that was a Venom Kisser. And this is Hypno's house as well. So, Hypno has recently returned for Hermitcraft Season 7. And if you haven't been watching him, I definitely recommend you check him out. He's more of a technical player, but he's definitely worth a watch. And he's one of the uh, OG Hermits that still plays. Um, moving on, I think we've got some sort of tree farm over there. I can't remember who built that. And I think a lot of you are probably wanting to know who built this. This skull is definitely the most iconic build in Old Hermiton. And it was none other than Monkey Farm that built this. Um, really cool. Really, really dominant big build. And oh, it's so cool. So that's Monkey Farm's house. We'll probably get over there eventually. We're just going to keep on going around here. This is go over here. Um, this is Mumbo's Redstone's consultancy. Um, so essentially what this was is a hermit would put an order into this chest suggesting a redstone contraption that they wanted made, i.e. like a piston door or an item sorter, and Mumbo would build it for them. Pretty cool business, he brought it back in season 4, season 5 pretty sure, he did do it in season 6, here's hoping he'll bring it back for season 7. <laughs> um, what have we got over here? Um, Monkey Farm's Hana Shop, so I'm guessing this is mules and donkeys, yes you can see that there, um, quite cool. Oh. So you place a diamond into the chest, and then this will activate, sending the meal down. What if I place an egg in there? Nah, it's not tricking the system. <laughs> this Pungence's house. house. Um, Pungence was b his brother. He participated in season 1 to 3 of Hermitcraft. And this was a bit of a work in progress. He never finished it. But I do quite like the clay here. I think that's quite cool. Um, yeah, Pungents and Schism, definitely recommend you check them out. They were great fun to watch. And that is his lovely modern house. I think this is Azuma's place over here. Yes, Azuma's feather falling shop. So you can get gear and stuff over there, such as boots. Um, I'm assuming this is a pumpkin melon farm. I'm pretty sure this is this is a really old build. Back before Elytras, people use ender pedals a lot more. I'm pretty sure this is an ender pedal station, so if you Press the button, it should just spend 16 ender pearls. But it's all out. <laughs> oh dear. A lovely little cow farm, I think, over there. What's over here? Oh, so this is King Happy. Now, King Happy was an interesting one because he actually um, participated a lot. He made an ender ender in this season, um, but he kind of lost interest in the game and stopped playing. Probably about October time maybe or the same. Um, but he contributed a lot while he was here, so King Happy, very good. I believe this is Mumbo's starter house. Yep, Mumbo's humble abode. Wipe your feet. Yeah, so this is Mumbo's starter house. Looks okay, I guess. A little brick house. And we're slowly heading up to Monkey Farm's skull. So let's have a little look see. 
Ooh, got slime launchers. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. A lot of fire and stuff you put all of this. And I don't think this is going to work. This looks like one of the old piston elevators. And I don't think they work. I think they broke in like 1.11 or something. So we'll give it a go. Ooh, yeah, you can see they've, they've, they've broken. Or am I sad? You have to like go on edge here? Yeah, it, it doesn't work anymore. Um, but yeah, that is Monkey Farm's skull. It's really cool. And even though you can't really get up it anymore, it looks really cool. I almost missed this. This is Cilantro's. Cilantro was another person which predominantly streamed. So most of his Hermitcraft series is lost in time. But he had his little hobbit hole. You saw them all making hobbit holes in Star Season 7. Cilantro did it first. <laughs> it's a really nice place to go out there. Um, he's got a nice little table here. Got a kitchen area. Very nice. Very, very nice. And he's used the mushroom blocks, um, which is very interesting. Um, I think mushroom blocks are quite underrated. Got some farms over here. And up here, I believe, that is Joe Hills. I know for a fact that is Joe Hills. Um, over there, that is Aurelian Spaceship. Um, I think this is King Daddy d -Mac. And I'm almost certain that these kind of hanging gardens here are Zombie Cleo. I think they were inspired off the Gardens of Babylon, I'm pretty sure. Um, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, yeah, that's it. Um, so I think that was Zombie Cleo. What else do we have over here? Ah, yes, this is Red Eyes. Red Eyes was another really cool hermit that I enjoyed watching. Um, he did a lot of streaming. Um, I'm pretty sure he's Irish, actually, the only Irish hermit we ever had. And um, for the most part, he was inactive during season two. He was a lot more active in season one, but he, he kind of made a video here and there, but kind of life got in the way. And he always wanted to return to Hermit I guess he never did. Who knows? We might see him in the future again. But this was Red Eyes Bakery. I think he has everything to make a cake here. So you got your sugar cane, your eggs, your, oh no, it's a pumpkin pie shop. So you got pumpkins, eggs, and sugar to make the pumpkin pie. All right. Who do we have over here? Um, kind of these houses here, I'm not entirely familiar. I feel like, I want to say this is Schism's house, but I'm not entirely sure. It could be Biffa's, potentially. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, one of these is Schism's, one of these is Biffa's. Um, who am I missing here? I don't actually know. Um, there's got to be a couple people. Um, I know Deutroid is down here somewhere, she had an underground base and I don't know where, she was another streamer and most of her Hermitcraft CD kind of been lost in time. The sun is setting now but that's okay, um, but I'll give you a little look at this, see, see back in season 2 things weren't as organised and you can see stuff that you wouldn't normally see, I mean look at this, fences for roofs, no one in their right mind would do this today but I guess it's kind of cool, Um, yeah. This is a lovely house over here, I do have to say, I do quite like this. Um, hang on, we'll, we'll go over here, this might be a clue. It looks like some sort of post box. Um, they had a post box system in New Hermiton. If you do want me to go ahead and tour New Hermiton as well, be sure to let me know, um, because I think that would be really fun and you'll see a lot more familiar names. Um, and New Hermiton looks really cool, I have to say. It's got its own subway system. It's really cool, it's really cool, definitely. Uh, worth a look at. Actually, one of these might be slip gators. This looks like another tree farm. Yes, this is a tree farm. You hear that this is tree farm right there? And another one over there, but oh well. I think one of these is slip gators, one of these is biffers, and one of these is schisms. And you got this. Actually, this could be schisms here. Hmm. Oh no, this is biffa. Actually, I, thought, I thought one of these was biffa. So biffa decided, I don't know if this was finished or not, but he just need a, a thing, I guess. I think that's the best way to describe that, I think. And, um, yeah, looking pretty nice. I think that is just about the main stuff. There are tons of other places further out. Like, I know that way you've got Thomas um, and his house over there. And a little bit further out, you've got Corrales' main base, which is definitely worth a look at. It's beautiful, even today. And I think Mumbo's even further out that way, and Red Eyes is somewhere over there. Definitely quite cool. Um, we're gonna have a quick little look over here past the Temple of Spoon um, and have a little look 
over there you can just about see I think is that Mumbo's base? Maybe. Maybe. Go on to those cob towers again. There's a few things out and about. Um, if you go exploring, you'll you'll find stuff. Um, yeah, I think that is Mumbo's base over there. And um, we can have a little look up on the hill because Joe Hill's made a lovely wheel fire. Actually, for the most part, Joe Hill Joe Hill's was quite inactive this season. And he kind of returned to activity back at the start of season four. Um, so, cut out at this point, he got a little bit burnt out, and I think he wanted to spend time raising his daughter, who was still very young at the time. Corinne, I think her name is. Um, but yes, so DMAC, I think this is another Joe Hills build. And in here, yes, in here, this is Joe Hills' main wool farm area. And you got the sheep farm down here, which is really awesome. And apparently someone needs a lot of red wool. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to do it for the tour of Old Herriton. If you want me to tour more stuff in the Herrick Craft server, I'd be happy to. In fact, soon I think I'm going to download Season 1 and actually look at it for the first time because admittedly, I did not watch Season 1 and I don't really have a clue of who built what. But, um, yes, that was Old Herriton. If you did enjoy, again, be sure to like and subscribe and if you have watched for this long then and you haven't already i would consider subscribing because clearly you do like it somewhat so yeah i'm gonna leave you there thank you very much for watching i've been herbert craft history i'll see you all in the next one